The coal-fired 614 hauled freight back in the 40s and 50s before it was sidetracked in favor of diesel engines. All right, come on, come on, come on. But today it carried passengers on the Amtrak Cardinal run between Huntington and Hinton, West Virginia. My father and my brother were railroad men, and uh, I knew if my father was living, he'd had us all lined up out in Huntington to ride back to Hinton. <laughs> Even for old railroad hands, this was a day for their own personal history books. Oh, it's nice. Uh, nice for people to see the old time way that they used to pull the passenger trains, and I hope the steam will come back. Parents brought their children along for this ride linking the past to the future, and others made a special trip to take this one. Came up last night. You to ride the train? Yeah, six hour round trip just for a three hour trip to Hinton and back. Why are you doing it? Not this one before. See the old steam rolling and uh, the noise and the whistles and so forth that I remember back when I was much younger. I just love to see it all back again. Traveling like this with the old steam train here pulling us may seem like a pipe dream, but to the folks who are sponsoring this, it's a lot more than that. And once we get the new engine in 1986 running, assuming it's successful, and I'm sure it will be, uh, and convert the fleet of a presently 30,000 diesel electric engines over to steam, coal-fired steam. Uh, we're talking about 20,000 new mining jobs throughout the nation and about 4,000, 3,500 to 4,000 new manufacturing jobs to make these locomotives. And this engine is the forerunner to all those plans. The 614 is going on toward retirement in a few days, but just for this day, old 614 was part of history. A tie to what may be a new future linking coal and steam to the nation's rails once again.